Hi everyone, welcome back to Lulu Math. Uh, this video is on solving systems of equations by elimination. Uh, this is video number one of two to explain the process of elimination. So make sure you check out the second video to get a full understanding of uh, how to solve a system by elimination. So uh, the reason why this method is called elimination is because you're literally eliminating um, a variable. Uh, remember, when we have uh, a, uh, uh, an equation with two variables here, we are trying to go down to one variable, so that way we can uh, actually solve our equation easily. So 8a plus 3b equals 11 has two variables. 5a minus 3b equals 41 has uh, two variables as well. We're going to eliminate one of our variables, get down to one variable, and now we can solve it more easily. So let's talk about how to do this. So I'm going to rewrite the um, equation that I uh, highlighted in blue uh, down here. So 8a plus 3b equals 11. Okay, and then I'm going to rewrite the purple one as well. 5a minus 3b equals 41. Now, if you notice, we have a positive 3b and a negative 3b. And if you were to add the positive 3b and the negative 3b together, um, that would give you zero. They would cancel each other out to give you zero which is exactly what we want to do. We want to eliminate something. So the Bs have been eliminated. But if I'm going to add the Bs together, then I have to add everything else in the equation together as well. So I'm going to add um, the blue equation and the purple equation together. So 8A plus 5A is 13A. 3B plus negative 3B cancels each other out, and 11 plus 41 is 52. Now I've gotten to a point where I uh, only have one variable, so it's easy to solve. I just divide both sides by 13, and I end up getting A equals 4. Now that I've done that, the um, elimination piece is over. I've uh, solved for one of my variables. Now all I have to do is just solve for my other variable. I can use substitution at this point because I already know uh, the value for one of my variables. So I'm going to choose either equation. Um, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to choose the first one. I'm going to write it down again. 8a plus 3b equals 11. Okay, And I'm going to substitute this 4 in right here. So let's do this in pink so you can kind of see that that's going in for the A right here. And it's going to say 8 times 4 instead of 8 times A plus 3B equals 11. Okay, so now all I have to do is just go through and solve for B. So 8 times 4 is 32. I'm going to copy down plus 3B equals 11. Get rid of that 32 by subtracting it gone. So I end up getting 3b equals 11 minus 32 is negative 21. Divide by 3, divide by 3, so b equals negative 7. We've solved our system because we've solved both variables. Um, so that means that our solution is going to be uh, 4, negative 7, when we write our solution for an answer that is not just x and y, we just put it in alphabetical order. So I just want to use Desmos to verify that um, I have the correct solution. Uh, if you notice here, our equation was 8a plus 3b. Here I'm using x and I'm using y because uh, in order to be able to graph it out, I need to use uh, x and y. But it's the exact same thing. I'm just replacing uh, a with x and b with y. Um, so if you look right here, my red equation is 8x plus 3y equals 11. There are infinite uh, points on this line that satisfy this equation because I have x and y. Then I'm going to also graph out uh, the second equation. Again, there are infinite uh, solutions on this equation as well, but there's only one solution that satisfies both equations, and that's where they intersect, and that solution is at 4, negative 7, which is exactly what we got as our answer. In our next example, uh, we have, uh, we're going to use elimination again. We have 4x plus 7y equals negative 11, and we also have 4x minus 3y equals 19. And um, if you notice right here, we have um, our uh, x's right here are uh, the same amount, positive 4x and positive 4x. Now, if I were to add these two equations together this time, they wouldn't eliminate because 4 plus 4 is 8. So I'd end up getting 8x, and then 7y minus 3y is 4y. This isn't going to help me out because I haven't eliminated a variable. So instead, um, what I want to do 
is uh, figure out a way to get these um, X's to cancel each other out. Well, the only way that that, that will happen is if uh, one of them is positive and the other one is negative. So what I will do is I'm going to keep the top one exactly the same. 4X plus 7Y equals negative 11. But for the bottom one here, I'm going to multiply the entire bottom equation by negative 1. By doing that, this 4x, this positive 4x times negative 1 becomes a negative 4x, okay? And then negative 1 times negative 3y ends up being positive 3y. Now make sure if you do this, you do this to every single term in your equation, both sides of your equation. And then negative 1 times 19 is negative 19. By doing that, I now can add my two equations together and 4x and negative 4x uh, end up being zero, so they cancel each other out. So then 7y plus 3y is 10y, okay? And negative 11 equal, uh, plus negative 19 ends up giving me negative 30, okay? Divide both sides by 10, and I end up getting y equals negative three, okay? Now that I've done that, I can just solve for x. Um, so again, I can choose either equation. I will use the top one, 4x plus 7y equals negative 11. And I'm going to replace this negative 3 in for y. So I'm going to write down, copy down 4x plus 7, but instead of 7 times y, I'm going to say 7 times negative 3, and then equals negative 11. Okay, and then I can just go through and just continue solving. So I get 4x, 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. I can add 21 to both sides to get rid of the constant here. So I end up getting 4x equals, now just divide by 4, and here I end up getting x equals 10 over 4, which reduces to, uh, uh, they're both divisible by 2, so I end up getting 5 over 2, or I could say x equals 2.5, okay? So that means that my solution is going to be 2.54. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below or at lulumath.com. Um, there is a second part to this video, so make sure you check it out to get a full uh, understanding of solving systems by elimination. Um, you can also find uh, blank or filled in notes sheets that go along with this video at lulumath.com. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe or share. Uh, thank you uh, and see you next time. Bye.